Hi guys, this is uh, Tom from WinRumors.com. Um, just going to take you quickly through the Internet Explorer release candidate. Um, so this is the basic UI. You can see where the buttons have slightly changed from the beta version. Um, you've also got the show tabs on a separate row now, so you can actually have them beneath the address bar. And you can switch between them. Let's pull that back. Okay, so some of the new improvements um, mainly to do with this sort of safety aspects of Internet Explorer. Um, so Microsoft enabled an ActiveX filtering um, option where you can toggle between uh, whether you want content on pages um, that, that contain ActiveX, whether you want that filtered out or whether you want it to show. Um, they've also included the new uh, tracking protection. So if we go into here, you can see there's no, there's no lists. Although they have curiously um, put a default list in here, which does contain some Google Analytics, which is strange, but because um, the, they did say that they weren't going to uh, provide any sort of default list, so I find that a little bit odd. Um, but in here, you can you can add in um, any of the tracking protection lists that you create, and you can enable those and disable those. Um, as for the actual ActiveX protection. If we, if we, and at the moment it's actually currently enabled, so you'll see the ActiveX control here. And if we go in and disable it there, it'll actually just say like, you know, your your browser doesn't support ActiveX, and it will, it will completely block off any ActiveX controls on tabs. And you actually get a new item in the address bar up here. Some content is filtered. So if you click on there, it will say. Um, you can turn you can turn turn off the ActiveX filtering. There doesn't seem to be any other sort of UI apart from this to actually disable or enable sites specifically. It seems like it's just a global block um, that will just li literally completely disable ActiveX across all sites. So that's a bit odd that Microsoft wouldn't sort of add that sort of filtering in there. Um, other than that, um, it's quite similar to the beta. Um, you've also got the download manager that's been updated. So we look at the downloads, they've, they've actually got the time remaining in the percentage now. So that's slightly changed from the beta. Um, but the main the main sort of changes is probably probably the tabs for most people. As a number of people were concerned that the tabs were always up in the uh, beside the, the address bar up there. And a quick look at the about. But that's about it.